everyone, it's Carrie Mason with Billboard and Pasha here talking to. We're so lucky to be able to have him after such an epic night last night at Ultra. Avicii, how are you, sir? I'm good. I'm good. Just we wrapping up the week. Wrapping up the week, and we have this amazing vista to say goodbye to Miami from, which is fitting. Um, last night was pretty amazing. I mean, we talked about it online all day today. Um, when did you find out that Madonna would be joining you on stage at Ultra for your set? I found out about three weeks ago, I think, mm -hmm. and then um, then I did the remix for her, and I wasn't really sure how the whole uh, how they were gonna do it until right. kind of like last minute, mm -hmm. a couple of days prior. But uh, yeah, no, I know for a while. Yeah, and you started the remix when you heard that she was going to be at Ultra, so you just did it in a short window of time, or? Yeah, I had about three days to do it or something oh like word. that yeah that's pretty quick <laughs> yeah it is but uh and i was in the middle of touring as well right <laughs> but it turned out great like i already had a melody that i was going to use for something else but that really fit with that one so it wasn't that hard i mean your, your song your track levels is so omnipresent that people were joking on twitter yesterday oh you're not going to play it are you <laughs> all the yeah, djs yeah, were yeah, like no, you I forgot to bring that. levels yeah. with you i mean I'm, everyone must ask you this question but what does it mean to have it become so much more than just a dance track yeah, no, I mean, I, I, it's amazing. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I, I can't believe uh, the way that track, where it ended up. Like, I didn't had no idea. I wasn't expecting it to become big. Like, right. every track, it's hard for me to tell which ones everyone is going to like and right. which ones just I like. So it's, I'm obviously super happy about how it went. I mean, when people talk about kind of these, like, quick successes, you're always one of the first people that, that comes to mind, even from last year at Ultra to this year at Ultra, headlining a whole night. Um, the last year for you has probably been pretty breakneck speed. How, how are you? We were just talking that you're taking a few days off. You're staying in Miami. How are you kind of balancing work and life with so much happening so quickly? Um, well, I mean, I, I, I just try to like take everything as it comes. I kind of mm -hmm. just go with the flow. Mm -hmm. And the way it is now, it's obviously just a lot of work. It's just every... I mean, I had 300 shows, more than 300 shows last year. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm probably going to end up at the same this year as well. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I just like, I really enjoy what I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. So it's not really that hard for me just to, like, as I said, just be in the moment, just kind of enjoy it. Coachella is coming up as well. And that's going to be a big, a big platform for you. What are you planning? Anything special? Um, One giant festival to the next. How do you differentiate yeah. them? Yeah, well, for... Coachella is going to be way different because uh, I'm premiering my uh, first live show at Coachella, which oh, is wow. going to be amazing. It's something uh, my manager has been working on for a long time, and mm. we put a lot of money into it and mm -hmm. a lot of time. And is that something that you would then adapt and take on the road with you? Because I know you're launching your tour right after that. Yeah, that's definitely. We're bringing that on with uh, uh, we're doing a full arena tour. Um, and we're bringing that on for that tour. So that's going to be kind of the first, the, definitely the biggest tour I've ever done. Uh, and together with that stage setup, it's going to be something like completely different. Thank you so much for making the time with us. We're, we're really happy to have you. Signing off from Miami 2012. Thank you, everyone. What a great way to say goodbye.